Matthews V3X29. Engage limb legs. Hamski Trinity Hunter Pro. Flatline stabilizer Matthews. Elk shaped grips. Duh. Duh. Stay of field system. Scott Summit handheld release. Low Pro Quiver two piece Matthews. And Black Gold Mountain Light 3. Guys, have you ever wanted to know how much it costs to get a boat? <laughs> Have you ever wanted to know how much a bow actually costs from start to finish set up? Let's say you walked into Spokane Valley Archery today and you're like, here's my credit card, set me up exactly how you would MFJJ. Well, we're gonna do that video today. We're gonna break down the full cost. Here we go. Hey guys, this is Josh Crawford. He's the man behind the camera on the public land hustle in the Arizona. That's right, he had to put up with me and my grumpy ass for seven days. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, good friend, known him for over a decade. Awesome dude. He killed his first bull last year, yep. archery. And uh, we're setting him up with a new bow today and we're putting him in MFJJ's hands. And by the way, we are gonna get one of you subscribers to fly into Spokane. We are gonna buy you your bow top to finish and you're gonna have MFJJ set it up. We'll announce that down the road, but I wanted to tease that. My bow, well, I hunt North Idaho mostly, and so it's all, it's pretty brushy, pretty thick. Um, I don't hunt out in the open a whole lot. My bow ends up on my, my backpack a lot. So something short is, is something that makes, that's important to me too. Can you give us a GPS location of where you'll be hunting? No, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh, you're looking at a 29 today, if I remember correct. So let's run over and grab one of those. So that be your beastie, and you can't not have the engaged limb leg. So we'll stick that on there so we can set it down while we're talking. Uh, a lot of different ways you can go on a site. Um, the triple stack's gonna be really common. The black gold uh, mountain line of scent's probably gonna be real common. So that'd be my recommendation for the site setup. Give you a base idea of what we're looking at cost-wise. You can't not have a hamski. Um, we got those new, uh, the new ones coming in here in you know, two weeks, which I'd recommend, but uh, we'll go ahead and throw that on there for now, just so we have an average price. That low pro system is just so, so tight to the boat, keeps everything nice and balanced to where you may or may not really need an offset bar to add that extra weight or a secondary sidebar. Um, with, always with Matthews, they do have great matching stabilizers. It's kind of hard not to go that route. So that's your same matching camel pattern. All right, so uh, handheld wise, the Summit's kind of hard to beat for the money for release wise. So that's about 120 bucks. It's not crazy, but that's like your average entry level handheld. Uh, so we'll figure that in and then a dozen arrows and we'll go ahead and total that all out to give you an idea of what that's going to look like. Okay, so that's a bow, rest, sight, peep, loop, peep, quiver, stabilizer, stay of field system, a dozen arrows, and a Scott release. That sound like everything? Sounds like everything? So. Sounds like everything you would literally need Could to go hard. Arrows and field points? I didn't add field points. Uh, that's, that's built arrows, but I didn't add field points, so that's another $12. $2,625.34. That includes $196.74 of Governor Jay Inslee's cut. Uh, no, we don't charge any labor when you buy a bow. Like whatever the price of the item is, the price of the item, we'll assemble it to it, free charge. It's a little thinner. My first bow was from a pawn shop. <laughs> I started at the bottom of the barrel, I scraped up the cash, I bought a used bow from a pawn shop, and I slowly worked my way up to getting a brand new bow. And in fact, my first brand new bow was bought from you. Yeah. Long time ago. So don't think you have to keep up with the Joneses. You can start with uh, whatever is affordable so that you can pay your bills, have a happy home, and just slowly over time upgrade equipment. Uh, and if you're in a position to just go all in, this is the video for you. We showed you what to get. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. But you didn't pan down.